these pipes are going underneath to where all the equipment is, but the floor is open. So what you're going to get is rats climbing up here and getting inside the building. So we're going to seal this up with concrete, fix it up so that the rats can't get down there and exclude them. So I'm going to get all this garbage out of here. Dame acá el, el pomito ese y el, y el contenedor. A little piece of wood. This concrete. So, what I want is a good adherence for the concrete. <coughs> to get into it. Off of there, so just in case we don't break a pipe. Clean it out. If they ever have to remove it, you know, they can always remove that concrete, but we can exclude it with excluder alone. I'd just rather not do that. Use excluder alone. All right, so what we're going to do is concrete bonding agent adhesive so we get a nice bond with that. Looks like Elmer's glue. just wanted to adhere because this is a kind of an odd place where there's concrete so you see this is all the full equipment the water filter and this is the hole that was left when they installed this system they drill through and what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically I'm gonna cement the top of this but in order to keep the cement from falling, we gotta create some sort of barrier. We're gonna insulate the bottom of this with good old fashioned yellow insulation foam. And then I'm gonna cement the top, the cement's gonna drop down and basically seal off the top of this. So this is how, how we're gonna accomplish this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go about two-thirds of the way. Oh. Yep, oh, here we go. Here we're going to do something different. We're going to use excluder and foam at the bottom because we can't cement that in in case they ever have to do a repair on the air conditioner. We don't want that to be sealed permanently. And also over there on the electrical, we gotta do all that. Okay, so all we've done here at the bottom so that if they ever need to work on an air conditioner, they can easily remove this foam. We're gonna put the excluder material on the top we're just using this to retain the material so it doesn't fall through. And then we'll just foam it in at the top so it doesn't look nice and clean. But that's all we're using this for. We're not gonna cement this because if you use cement there, you can't work on that air conditioning unit in the future. Here's the other side that's open from underneath and we're gonna seal this one too now. So we just take this material and we're just gonna 
seeing if I can insert it here and start working my way That's just gonna hold the material in. Happy. Yep. Okay, so you see we did this inside. Now one of the things I'm concerned about is that there's a gas line here. I don't know if you can see it, it goes outside. There's I can smell the gas in here. I've been smelling it for a while, but the only problem with this line is they never secured and put a bracket. There's this piece of concrete back there, but you can see this is not secured. It should have been secured here, and that concerns me. You see, we seal them all from the bottom just so we can concrete them from the top and seal them well. Okay, so there you can see the foam from underneath. Here we had a little bit come up, so we just took off that excess got about an inch of concrete there and see how it puffs up a little bit we're just gonna remove it Yeah, there's a good inch there. That's enough for concrete to adhere to that. We had pre-sealed this with an adhesive. You're gonna see the video on it. And we basically got pre-mixed cement. The reason I use pre-mixed cement is by the time for this amount of cement we gotta mix, um, by the time you mix it, have to clean all the equipment, clean everything off and the tubs and everything. You've got a half hour of mixing. This is a lot more economical for these small jobs. If we were doing a lot of concrete, I would say, yeah, let's mix it. But for these little holes that we're gonna use, we probably won't use all of this. Okay, and there's the foam about halfway through, which is what I wanted, and I'm going to show you the excluder product we're going to use to seal that. Okay, so this is the box of excluder. This is what the excluder material looks like when you open up the box. comes inside with a roll like that of excluder and then you basically unwind it it's a four inch roll and this particular it also comes in one inch four inch wide and I'm gonna wear gloves because it will prick your fingers give me a second right and then so I'll wear these nice gloves it won't prick with this and you can literally tear this with your hands so I'm gonna stuff that it's too tight in there I'm gonna see if I can put it so that you can see it. In this case, I'm gonna need a lot of this material. But, I'm gonna fold it in half. Let me see how I can get in here. It's gonna be a tough little area. But, I should be able to Go inside over here. Move this line. I don't know if you can 
see it. And I'm gonna go ahead and then Spatula. You can use a little spatula or a screwdriver. tries to eat up through there. It's going to be really tight. And then let's stick it inside there. Okay. So there is the material really packed in there really tight. They're going to have a heck of a time if they either get up here from the bottom they're not going to get in. We already excluded the bottom. So it's them climbing up here and getting it in there. All right, so we just sealed it about a quarter of the way and it's gonna foam up the rest of the way now and expand. In, in about 15 minutes, that will be expanded. I don't know if you can see it. And then we'll probably just cut off the excess so it looks nice and clean. There you go, we just cemented around that, those lines.